All right, guys, so the woke revolutionaries are upset, right? They're pissed off, okay? Which is nothing new, <laughs> right? But uh, this time, they're upset about the alleged racism that is happening from this Asian judge, this Asian woman judge, when it comes to sentencing Kim Potter, right? After she was found guilty of first and second degree manslaughter for the uh, accidental shooting of Dante right after he was resisting arrest. Now, you guys should be familiar with the Kim Potter story, okay? She is the female police officer that accidentally shot and killed uh, Dante Wright uh, because uh, she grabbed her gun when she actually thought she was grabbing her taser, right? And it is very clear uh, that she actually thought that she was grabbing her taser, um, so she accidentally shot the guy, right, after he was resisting arrest. Um, now I've already done a video on this and my thoughts on, um, the verdict. I thought that the verdict was unjust. I don't think that she was guilty. And in a summary, why I don't think she was guilty is because I don't think that the mistake that she made was reckless. I don't think she was conscious of her mistake. Two key components that needed it to be in play, uh, for it to be, uh, first or second degree manslaughter. So I thought that it was wrong. And I thought that the verdict was politically motivated. Okay. This is something that should be handled in civil court, right? Mistakes are handled in civil court. So that's just my opinion on it, right? And if you disagree with it, that's fine. I get it. That's okay, right? People are allowed to disagree with each other. So with that being said, uh, again, uh, the woke left is upset because they feel like this Asian judge is, is, is being racist here, right? She's a representative of the systemically racist criminal justice system because she's only giving this woman two years, okay? Um, they think that she deserves longer. Some of these people think that she should probably be locked up for life. Now, here's the thing. This judge is actually stuck between a rock and a hard place because uh, I think she knows in her head that this woman is actually not guilty, right, of the charges here. I think she actually knows that. But she's been pressured from the left, right? Now, I've done stories about George Floyd's nephew, uh, Cortez Rice, who is an activist, right, or he was before he got locked up, right, in jail. I, I don't know if he's actually still locked up. But this guy was actively threatening this judge, right? Trying to dox the judge, pressuring the judge to allow cameras uh, during this trial. Now, this judge initially said, no, 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 we're not allowing this trial to be recorded. Lo and behold, after Cortez Rice and goons uh, pressured her, uh, she reversed that decision. Okay, so this judge is obviously being politically swayed, in my opinion. Okay, uh, and I think she knows what is right here. But at the same time, you know, hey, at the end of the day, there's a lot of woke pressure, right? So I wouldn't want to be this judge. That, that's all I'm saying. So keep that in mind. And because this judge is not doing what the woke left wants, once again, uh, they're basically going after her and attacking her and calling her uh, a, a racist, right? Even though she is a, a Asian lady, right? Um, and I'm not saying Asians can't be racist towards black people. I'm just saying, usually this, this stuff is directed towards white people. But again, I find it fascinating, the mental gymnastics that the left jumps through to claim racism when the person that is supposed to be being racist is, is not white, right? And that is what's happening here. Uh, but before we get into this, I just want to let you guys know, if you uh, like my content, you like my channel, you like what I do, and you want to support the way to do so is with the links in the descriptions below. You can support the Patreon, you can support the PayPal, you can support the merch. There are multiple ways to support if you would like to support. So without further ado, I'm going to respond to Joy Reid and guest. Uh, basically uh, discuss how uh, this verdict shows that this country hates black people. Significantly below the guy. Joining me now is Ellie Mistal, justice correspondent for The Nation. So, Ellie, uh, you know, I pulled, a, I asked my team to pull a couple of tweets that kind of summarized um, a lot of the feelings about this sentence. Uh, Pam Keith, military veteran Pam Keith, um, killing a black man gets you less time than accidentally voting while on probation as a black man. It's time for serious reform of the ju judiciary. Um, no one who does stuff like this should be allowed to remain on the bench, talking about the judge. Uh, and Naveed Jamali, a friend of the show um, and Navy veteran, says it's not a sentence. It's an inconvenience. Your thoughts on this verdict, on this. You know what? Ain't it funny how these people put so much energy behind what they see as a mistake from the criminal justice system when it comes to stuff like this, right? Did this woman get in sentence for what was obviously a mistake? But they don't put any energy behind all the thugs and criminals that are being let out of jail on no bail, right? That have been bailed out by BLM and these other far left groups that are actually actively committing violence against black people, right? Ain't it funny how that works, right? Th these people put so much energy behind a situation in which Dante Wright was resisting arrest. Resisting arrest is not a death sentence. No, it's not. But 
you are dealing with a human being with a gun. So when you do resist arrest, okay, you're putting yourself in a situation where you're likely or you're more likely to potentially lose your life, right? Because you were not complying. Okay. Again, is that a death sentence? Should it be a death sentence? Not necessarily. However, you're putting yourself in a situation where it could become a death sentence. And at that point, you know, the more you escalate a, a situation like that, the more uh, calls that a police officer would have to use a deadly weapon, right? Which is what happened in the Dante Wright situation. It's just unfortunate that this police officer accidentally pulled her taser instead of her gun, okay? It's just funny how they choose to put energy behind something like this, but not other issues that are active threats to black people, the people that these people claim they care about, okay? But we all know what's going on here. We all know why th this is happening, okay? Because they want to play up a race angle. And we'll get a little bit deeper into that. This uh, sentence. Joy, this country hates us. This country hates black people. And we... <laughs> this country hates black people, right? Says the guy that is black, that's sitting on national TV with a black woman, okay, that has her own show. Both of them are probably millionaires, probably well off. His house looks nice in the background here, okay? Definitely uh, doesn't look like the house of uh, somebody that a, a country would hate, right? Yeah, yeah, this country hates black people, according to this guy, right? And he's saying this because an Asian woman gave a white woman a lighter sentence for a crime that, in my opinion, she shouldn't even be found guilty of, right? Because she made a mistake, I just want y'all to understand. No, we talk about it. We joke about it. We know, we know what we're up against. But sometimes that hatred that this country has for us really comes out and just takes your breath away, just grabs you by the neck and just takes your breath away. <laughs> and today, Judge Regina Chu was that hatred, that icy hatred around our throat. She Okay, again, I want y'all to understand. This is what the wokes are doing. They're saying the Asian lady judge hate black people right that's what this guy is saying that's what he's arguing okay i just want y'all to understand that right he was the spit in our face today to have the unmitigated gall to stand up there sit up there in her courtroom and plead cry out for sympathy for the killer in front of that boy's mother i i don't have words to describe how offensive that is, how hurtful that is, how unjust that is, almost goes without saying. People are like, oh, she made a mistake. The potter made a mistake. Yeah, we have a sentencing guideline for this kind of mistake. It's called six to eight years. Yeah, and it's called a guideline for a reason, right? It's not mandatory. I thought you woke revolutionaries didn't like mandatory sentencing. Ain't that what y'all was mad about? Joe Biden, right, in regards to the crime bill stuff. I thought y'all didn't like mandatory sentencing. Apparently, this guy wants mandatory sentencing when it comes to locking up white women who made mistakes, right? That's what he wants because that, that's what this all about, guys, right? This, this is really about race because these people simply don't give a damn about police officers who make mistakes when they kill white people because if they did, uh, where was all this energy when it came to Ron Whitaker? Right, now, if you guys haven't heard about the whole Ryan Whitaker case, I suggest that you guys look it up. Right, there was a man who uh, simply uh, was walking out of his apartment with a gun, and police was coming to his apartment for, for a call. Okay, and he just walked out with a gun, and they just shot him on the spot. Right, they told the dude to actually drop the gun. He dropped the gun, and they still shot him anyways. Okay, now this is a white guy, a white officer involved. Right, um, and the uh, police department. Uh, fired him, right? He didn't face any charges, though. He didn't go to criminal court for it. And then the police department actually just reinstated the guy, right? So they just reinstated the officer that committed this shooting that I will argue is unjustified, okay? This guy complied, unlike Dante Wright, all right? And the officer shot him anyways, okay? So if we're going to define what Kim Potter did as reckless, negligent, conscious, when she clearly made a mistake, then why is this officer not facing any charges? Okay, he should be standing trial. Okay? Now, Ron Whitaker's family is also protesting the street. Right? They've demanded justice. But again, the mainstream liberal media, they've ignored it. They haven't said anything about it, even though that case is way more egregious than Kim Potter. What's the reasoning? Because a white officer shot a white guy. These people don't give a damn. Right? 
shows you they don't care about police brutality. They don't care about that. What they simply care about is the race angle. There's no race angle to that. So they're not going to talk about it. Okay, but Amir Locke, though, hey, there's a race angle there. We got to protest in the street. Dante Wright, hey, there's a race angle there. We got to protest in the street. This right here, <laughs> nothing to see here. These police officers just got away with killing a white man, right? Just got away with it. But if Ryan Whitaker was black, though, you might have riots in the street. Again, these are the same people that claim this country hates black people and that white people always get justice. White people always get justice, okay? They're according to these people, right? Why did she get two years? Somebody needs to answer me why she got two years. And well, because <laughs> she shouldn't have been found guilty in the first place. And the judge knows that. That's why she got two years. This judge, okay, has been politically swayed and compromised, right? In my opinion. In my opinion, okay? And rhetoric like this from the left is, is the reason why, okay? Uh, but in a last-ditch effort, <laughs> right, she's like, hey, you know what? I'm going to give Kim Potter here a lighter sentence, okay? I really don't think she should have been found guilty, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to give her a lighter sentence, okay, to try to make it right. Of course, we all know why she got two years. Yeah. Because she was I a mean, crying white That's why she got two years and not the six to eight years that her crime cried out for. You know, she want, Judge Chu wants us to, to look at things through Potter's eyes. I say no. I will look at things through Dante's right, right's eyes. When? When are you going to look at things through Dante right eyes? Doing that interaction, where are you going to start? You're going to start before he resisted arrest, right? As he's resisting arrest or after he's resisting arrest? I, I want to know. When do you want to look through his eyes? When he's resisting arrest? That's what you want to look through his eyes? Okay? It's funny how these people never address that part of it. They, they claim that we care about black lives. Here's the thing. Resisting arrest should not be a death sentence. However, use some damn common sense, right? If I'm somebody that actually cares about black lives, which I do, right, more than these people do, this is why I'm out here telling people, comply, right? If you want to save your black life, comply. Don't resist arrest. Don't back talk. Don't give no lip. Handle it in court. You know why? Because even if an officer does get charged with murder or manslaughter or whatever, even if justice is served, if a police officer shoots you, that ain't going to bring your life back, right? It's not going to bring your life back. Because an officer is simply a human with a gun, and people forget that. And humans make mistakes. So Kim Potter getting six, seven, eight years or whatever, that ain't going to save no black lives. But telling black people to stop resisting arrest, or just people in general when it comes to interaction with police, hey, listen, I know you might feel it's wrong, you might feel it's unjust, but look, this person is a human with a gun. I don't want you to lose your life. So handling in court, don't resist arrest, right? And this is what the actual focus should be if you really care about black lives, is discouraging people from resisting arrest, okay? But they don't want to have that conversation because, again, nobody ever takes any responsibility except the white man, right? Ain't it funny how they hold white people to such a high standard and they hold everybody else to such low standards, right? The only people that take, to take responsibility for their actions are white folks, you're the only people that are capable of that. Everybody else is not capable of taking any responsibility for their actions, right? Which is why, you know, uh, values such as personal responsibility, okay, uh, they're seen as, as components of whiteness, right? Because only white people are expected to do that. Everybody else, you know, they're like kids and children, right? And I can imagine the last thing Dante Wright saw for my... In I, I've been in a situation where that might have been the last thing that I saw. I guarantee you, you complied, right? You wasn't resisting arrest. Was you resisting arrest? Because you, if you were, then yeah, it probably might have could have been the last thing that you saw. But because you weren't resisting arrest, you're still alive, right? You're still alive. So I, 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 I that's that's the those are the eyes that I will remember, and I would encourage others to remember, and I would encourage others to reject. Judge Chu, and instead think about Dante Wright. You know, I mean, there, oh there, there's goodness. a guy named Mohammed Noor, former police officer, um, I believe in the same state, that was um, got 12 and a half years for accidentally, uh, you know, firing his weapon and killing a woman. She was a white woman from Australia. He's now again race angle. Mohammed Noor is like a, a, a African or something like that. That woman was white. That woman wasn't resisting arrest. 
right? So again, I don't know if Joy Reid thinks it's right or wrong, but if she does think that, right, if she thinks that it is right that this black officer got 12 years, okay, because he shot this white woman, okay, if you, if you really think that's right and that's just, then why are you not putting energy towards the Ryan Whitaker case, okay, in which these officers um, seem to not only be getting off, but they got reinstated, right? They got reinstated, they didn't even get charged, but again, I find it funny how in that situation, again, there's no race angle there, right? That's why she didn't even bring it up. It is a white police officer, white guy. She didn't cover that. She don't talk about that. But you have this black officer and this white woman, okay? The situation she just brought up, she felt the need to, to bring that up and to say, well, you know, this black officer, he got all this time, right, for killing this white woman, Okay. Again, these people are simply uninterested in, in justice. They're not interested in justice. What they're interested in is, is just race hustling, right? That's what this is about. That's what all this is about. These people are not standing on any principles or anything like that. They're not. They're, they're standing on trying to stoke up chaos in this country, okay? Trying to get people to be outraged and try to run this judge off the bench because this judge decided to give this woman a lighter sentence than they thought that she deserved, Okay? Trying to basically accuse this judge of being racist, right? Because they didn't get their way. And these people are actively destroying the criminal justice system, man. When you talk about what's going on with the cell phone crime, uh, criminal justice reform policies, whether it's that or trying to influence the criminal justice system, which we've seen before. This judge, obviously, again, in my opinion, is being influenced. And this is how it's done, right? Claim everything that you don't like is racism, right? And everybody that doesn't do what you want them to do is racist, regardless of what their skin color is, regardless, it's amazing stuff, but let me know what you guys think, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, most importantly, share a black conservative perspective, peace.